Hi guys! In this video you'll see how the actors of the three movies Rambo First Blood 1982, First Blood Part 2 1985 and Rambo 3 1988 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Trotman maintained a good friendship with Rambo and knew his nature well. He's characterized by firmness but not insensitivity and if necessary he can listen. Not a man to sit idly by, played by Richard Trenner, who died of heart failure in 2003. Teasel is similar in nature to Gold, also often shows anger and can let his anger get the better of him. He's organized but not at all inclined to admit his mistakes, played by Brian Dennehy, who died in 2020 of a cardiac arrest due to sepsis. Kern is a member of the Washington State Police where he serves as a captain. He doesn't allow himself to go above and beyond the call of duty and is negative about corruption, played by Bill McKinney, who passed away from esophageal cancer in 2011. Galt has a friendly relationship with Teasel, with whom he works in Liggett County. When achieving his goal, he pays little attention to others and can have a negative impact on people. Played by Jack Starrett, who died of 1989 of kidney failure. Belford, Michael Talbot, works in the same unit as Teasel and was called in to capture Rambo. He's capable of doing sneaky things and doesn't always stick to his word. Sometimes it can be inattentive and doesn't know how to quickly adapt to external conditions. Ward, Chris Mulkey, obeys Gull's instructions completely, has a rather hostile nature and can easily lose his temper at any even the slightest disobedience and on the part of a detainee. Rarely he is really polite and likes the feeling of superiority over others. Orwell helped to track Rambo. He is reverent about his dogs, which has made the first-class bloodhounds and treats better than humans. He's not a very benevolent man and is vindictive, played by John McLean, who died of Parkinson's disease in 1994. Lester has a balanced nature and tries to adequately treat the detainees without allowing himself too much. His understanding doesn't show narcissism and can express his respect to a person, played by Alf Humphreys, who died in 2018 of brain cancer. Preston, Don McKay, is one of Lester's colleagues at Hope, where, like many, he obeys God's orders. He's not inclined to contradict and even does what he doesn't like and knows when not to interfere. He is worried about his bald head, which he tried to cover up. Mitch was one of Galt's people, but he didn't approve of his methods and didn't share Art's position on Rambo. He is able to show friendliness to strangers, is not devoid of conscience and strives for justice, can show deep rapport. Lieutenant Clinton Morgan works with Teasel and was also part of the National Guard leading the search for Rambo. He doesn't always listen to the opinions of others and is characterized by impatience, which can lead to hasty actions. He was played by Patrick Stagg. Radio operator Craig Wright Huston is one of the local county sheriff's deputies. It can often be used for an observation position to maintain order or to catch violators. He is an attentive eye and immediately informs superiors of significant changes. Murdoch is a secret intelligence officer in charge of a prisoner's rescue operation. He skillfully manipulates, hides the truth and doesn't particularly care about the fate of other people, played by Charles Napier, who died of blood clots in 2011. Podovsky is sent by the USSR to assist Vietnamese soldiers in capturing the US military. He has an adamant and rather stubborn nature and also prefers to bring things to the end and eliminate people who are dangerous to him. He was played by Steven Berkov. 
Cope, Julia Nixon, assisted Rambo but then became romantically interested in him. She has a lively nature, knows how to find the right words, is able to support and instill confidence in a person as she herself tries to maintain a positive outlook on life. Erickson, Martin Cove, reports directly to Murdoch and holds the position of a helicopter pilot, which also delivered Rambo. He is far from always agreeing with his superior's instructions, but is also weak-willed and not inclined to stand up for or support anyone. Tai, George Ki Chung, ran a POW camp in North Vietnam, where he frequently subjected American soldiers to various forms of torture. He takes real pleasure in looking at the death of traitors. Tay, in a life-threatening situation, usually shows himself as a coward. Yushin Vojigoric works for the Soviet Union. In particular, he was assigned as an assistant to Padovsky. He has a tough and curious nature, especially when it comes to torture, and is loyal to his superiors, accustomed to follow orders given to him verbatim. King engages in pirate activities and can fulfill some requests of people for a fee, mostly concerning river crossing. He is cunning and more interested in money, for the sake of which he is willing to pretend and betray. Chief radio operator worked in the Murdoch team, has a good ear, is able to focus on what is important and even without looking. He can find the necessary button on the equipment the first time. Played by Roger Cudney, who died of a heart attack in 2021. Griggs is a representative of the US Embassy based in Thailand. It was he who persuaded Rambo to help the Mojadins in the fight against the USSR while telling some of the nuances, willing to take certain risks to help others. He was played by Kurtwood Smith. Masood, Spires Focus, is a representative of the Mojahedin who, together with Rambo, tried to repulse the Soviet invaders. He doesn't accept haste, tries to calculate all the risks and act according to a clearly defined plan, especially in military conditions. Mussar is the owner of the store where the main place of deployment of the Mojahedin was. He was engaged in collecting information and also kept some weapons. He is conscientious, ready to help, especially against Soviet enemies. Played by Sasan Gabay. Rahim was one of Rambo's henchmen who assisted in confronting the Soviet soldiers while rescuing Tratman. He is not accustomed to humbly endure bullying of his people and is ready to fight for freedom to the last. The role is played by Mahmoud Asadalahi. Khalid, like Masood, defends the freedom of his people and wants to stop the atrocities of the USSR against the Mujahideen. He is used to saying clearly what he thinks and tries to react quickly to danger. Played by Yosef Shiloa, who died of cancer in 2011. Stick fighter Harl Diamond is Rambo's opponent in underground fights. He is determined, not used to losing and has defeated more than 20 opponents, so people likes to bet on him. He never misses an opportunity to deliver a surprise blow to his opponents. Zeisen belongs to the USSR and led one of the Afghan captive camps. He has a perverted nature and took special pleasure when he looked at the torment and death of others. Played by Mark de Jong, who died in 1996 after falling off the roof of a house. Thomas works with Zeisen and helps exterminate the Mojahedin population. He is not known for his humanity and doesn't care how many innocent people he kills, including children and women, usually used to track and attack from the air. Rambo, Sylvester Stallone went through the Vietnam War, which hardened his character but left its mark on his emotional state. He's not used to giving up, can be quick-witted, and it's important for him to achieve justice. It can be difficult to convince him.
Hamid, despite his age, was an active supporter of Rambo. He lost his entire family by the Soviet army, but hasn't lost his will and has learned to be strong and fearless. He's agile and can use a weapon when necessary. The role is played by Dudi Shoa. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.